The whole world stopped for one funeral. It was amazing. Every major star of stage, screen, and music was at this funeral. It was the funeral for Michael Jackson. They think maybe a billion people saw it. So after everybody who was anybody had spoken and the whole world was watching, a pastor from Los Angeles somehow was allowed to have the last word. With one billion people watching, he looked right into the camera and he said these words. Even the king of pop must bow his knee to the king of kings. So that haunted me all day yesterday. I have preached many soul winning sermons. I have shared many times the gospel, but I have never shared what I'm about to share with you now. Not in 50 years of preaching. In Philippians chapter 2 verse 10, it says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. Biden is going to bow the knee to Jesus. Vladimir Putin is going to bow the knee to Jesus. Your favorite movie star, billionaires, Elon Musk is going to bow the knee to Jesus. Bill Gates is going to bow the knee to Jesus. And the Bible says that two things are going to happen to everyone. They're going to happen to everyone. You're going to bow your knee and you're going to say with your own mouth, Jesus is Lord. How many of you would love to say it right now? Say, Jesus is Lord. I don't know why the lights are flickering. We paid our light bill. I think it's the screens. I'm just saying that because I wanted to say it. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. You and you and you in one day in one moment, we'll face death. You're going to die. After you die, you will stand before God. When you stand before God, you're going to make those words that I've just said. They will come out of your mouth. Some of you, it'll be praise. Others of you, it will be the most painful, horrendous moment you could ever imagine. Because you see, those who are going to be lost forever are still going to confess that Jesus is Lord. I have met people that hate God. I've met people that hate God. They hate Him. And I've said to them, can you ever imagine saying Jesus is Lord? They said, I would rather do anything. I will never, ever admit that Christ is the Son of God and the Lord of the universe. But I said in that day, there's going to be ultimate joy or ultimate horror. And no one is going to have anything in between. You see, right now is when you want to say, I'm going to bow my knee to Christ. You want to do it before you die. You want to do it tonight. You don't want to wait one more moment. Am I preaching yet? Well, say, Mara, what you're saying is so simple. The Bible says, knowing these things, we use great plainness of speech. There's one thing you cannot afford is a false preacher. There's one thing you cannot afford is someone to tell you that your controversy with Christ is something you can put off. 
There's never been a good time to live without Jesus. Never. But this is the worst. There's never been a day that I've ever seen in my life that it's been more terrifying. I'm a Christian. More than a preacher, I'm a Christian. A lot of times I'll pray twice a day. Once as a preacher and the second time as a Christian. And when I pray as a Christian, I think of what it is like not to have a Bible to read or a God who hears my prayer. I can't imagine. There's something happening in the ghetto. And what's happening is grandparents are being forced to take over the child rearing again. They not only raise their kids, now they have to raise their kids' kids. And here's what grandparents think about when they pray at night. A grandparent thinks about one day I'm going to die and my grandbabies will be without me. And they already see what they're being taught in school. And they already know how likely it is that there was a day when you had a good and a bad neighborhood. Some of you remember those days. We had a good neighborhood and a bad neighborhood, but the internet ended it all. A child that is from the best family can go online and hook up with a child predator. You're not there, you're not available, it can happen. The government has already said they're gonna raise your child for you. If America does not repent, if America does not turn back to God, we're going to have a government that will control our thinking, our decisions, our money, and our life. Right now, we have the Silicon Valley Bank that just went belly up. Tomorrow, the whole economic world is holding its breath, wondering what's going to happen. Tomorrow they're saying it could be worse than 2008. We could have a financial meltdown within 24 hours. Let me tell you something. Every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. When you do it after you die and you will, the atheists will, all of you will. When you do it after you die, it'll do nothing but acknowledge him. But for you, it will do nothing. Acknowledge it now. Acknowledge it under this tent. Get ready to say it. I bow the knee to the Lord Jesus and I call him my Lord. Now if you do it, you will have peace. You will have joy. You will have power. And you can tell the devil, you don't own me anymore. I have been set free.